Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregate news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, it's going to be smoking. Look, look, it's going to be swearing. Look, look, so you have been warned. Because here I come in three. Look, look, two. Look, look, look. <laughs> One. Bang! Welcome, everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. My name's Shamari Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, and we have a great one for you today, and I got something hot off the presses. This just came out 40 minutes ago. It's uh, 5.18 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got some good stuff. All right, so we're going to talk about first, V-Chain. <laughs> V-Chain, just a little overview. I like the overview of V-Chain because we keep talking about this little, well, not little, but, you know, sometimes a little onboarding or a mega onboarding, whatever, all these onboardings. But what is really going on there? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. VeChain is hosting over 30 Fortune 500 companies and over 500 distributed apps are live on VeChain right now. We are going to talk about that. Bang, bang. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, baby. And then, all right, and then let's get into some money talk. I mean, that is money talk. I own a shit ton of VeChain. So that's money talk for me. Look. French Bitcoin, oh, French, oh, regulated. So we're going to talk about regulated stuff tonight. French regulated Bitcoin fund based on CMEs coming out. Bang, we're going to talk about that. And then look, look, look. Regulated Swiss bank expands to nine. Bang, nine. Bang, look, look, bang. New countries. It's going global now. Here we, here it comes. Finally, it's finally all happening, right? All the stuff that I used to tell you guys all about last year. Like, guys, don't worry, man. You know, it's, it's going to pop up here and there and all around the world and all this and all this, right? <laughs> Fucking shit. Took a little while. But look, we're going there now. I can pretty much tell you. From now going forward, there's probably going to be some new... Uh, investment vehicle or some new country i'm going to be talking to you about probably you know every other day oh yeah here it comes here it comes and there's more to talk about it in but let's just begin bye <laughs> oh yeah the greatest logo on earth baby look look it's gonna make you rich look back all right let us refresh oh, this want to do this again what the fuck all right, hold on a second, man. That is so weird how it does that. I don't know why it does that sometimes. All right. Look. Top 10 of the day. Oh, Bitcoin. Price of Bitcoin is 7100 and was that $67? And when I left you last night, we're at 2000 or uh, sorry, 7282. So we went down 120, I don't know, 100 and, what is that, 15 bucks or something? Something like that. All right. Slowly bleeding away, slowly bleeding away again, right? That's all right. That's all right. That means it's on sale, brothers. Go get it. <clears throat> Top 10 the day, brothers. Usual suspects. Top 10, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, Bitcoin SV, and Stellar. Let's look at market moves of the day. Yeesh, everything's pretty red. Everything's on sale. Oh, there's an up. All right, single digits up, single digits down. Usual story. Single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down. There we go, V train. Get down there. Get down there. Look. Single digits up, single digits down. Single this up, single this down. Two. Single this up. Two single digits down. All right. Let's see who lost. Oh, sloppy. Let's see who lost money today. If you see anything on here you like, go get it because it is on sale. <laughs> Oh, it's not even going to change the number? Okay. Top 10 loser of the day. 
Matic Network, Fetch.ai, Ravencoin, Enigma, Chainlink, Mindal, Verge, Bitcoin, Zilliqa, and Kyber Network. Let's look who made money today. Top 10 winners of the day. Wave, Steam, Cosmos, Educator, Luna, Synthetics Network, FTX Token, Horizon Theta, and DX Chain Token. All right, let's look at total market cap of the day, brothers. What do we got here? 194.6 billion. Hmm. And when I left you, so we're at 194.6 billion. When I left you yesterday, we were at 198.1. So that's a 3.5 billion dollar drop right there. And let's look at total volume of the day, brothers. Look, look. 58.7. Ah, back down to these 50s. All right. 58.7. So when I left you yesterday, it was 58.4. So we actually went up 0.3 billion. Whatever, that's nothing. All right, look, look, let's get to the stories. All right. Here we go, look, look. Bang, VeChain. Over 30 Fortune companies, 500 firms running live. And that they are live, actually using them on VeChain right now. So, I mean, like I said... Obviously, we do the onboardings when they happen, but it's nice to see, you know, just the full totality, I guess you could call it, of the V-Chain ecosystem, I guess. I, and I hate that using that word ecosystem, like just the onboardings, you know, you can see the, what it's actually doing, right? That's, that's what I like to say, you know, ecosystem. I don't know, I find that a little strange, but yeah, man. And so uh, 30 Fortune companies, 500 firms, let me get a sip and then we'll dive right in. Oh, yeah, and they got this cool chart right here, so. Actually, it's down in the, the story down at the bottom there. I'll show it to you. All right, let's check out VChain. VeChain technology continues to progress massively. To me, it's progressed massively in its focus to spread the adoption of blockchain to the mainstream as the technology remains nascent to the world, especially amongst enterprises and businesses across the globe that value transparency and data security. VeChain is bringing blockchain to limelight by offering them the best solution to tackle their age-long problems in the supply chain. All right. According to information shared by VeChain Insider on Twitter, uh, oh, I guess his name is VeChain Insider on Twitter, not less than 30 Fortune 500 companies are using VeChain blockchain solutions around the world. The update furthered that over 500 companies are now running live distributed apps on the blockchain network. But remember I told you where I think, you know, I mean, VeChain is outside of what I'm about to say, but I told you like, the battle of the blockchain, I think, is going to be like who onboards the biggest names to make distributed apps on their blockchain, right? Anyway, and so they have 500 of them. Is it 500? Yeah. And more than 250 new projects have been recently onboarded on VeChain. Bang. So top firms in the fashion industry like H&M, Adidas, Rebonds and LVHM, LVMH, among others, are using VeChain solution. In Smart City, we have the likes of Yida and FZKCA, and in the logistics industry, DB Schenker, Bang, and DHL, huge, uh, have also partnered with VeChain. So here's a, a picture of, you know, uh, you know, I don't know what the, all those symbols mean and everything, but you can go down here. So you guys know that I put the the links for all of these stories that I write you. I'm uh, sorry, read to you. I don't write them. Read to you on the show in the descriptions in the video of this video, right? So you can go down here. You can get the link and then there it is. It's on Twitter and right. And then you can blow it up and all that and really get a good look at it and see. Like I said, that's that's that's, you know. I can show my grandmother this and she can name a few a few onboardings out of here. That's investment grade, baby. 
Here's grandma approved. Look, look, VeChain Solution also functions in the telecom sector. Doromo and China Unicorn are using VeChain Solution in the arena. Bang. Also, the blockchain solution was introduced to a number of other sectors like agriculture, fishery, copyright, and document authentication. We talked about copyright just the other day, right? Big deal, big deal. Document authentication. That's going to be huge. Remember, we were talking about, uh, you know, land registration. Land registration is huge in the third world. Who owns that piece of land? All right. Um, finance and carbon asset, automobile, among others. Bye. All these companies use VeChain blockchain solution to perfect their day-to-day activities. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> so this is a great step for VeChain to attain mainstream adoption for its solution in the entire blockchain industry. Recently, VeChain has been quite prolific in the market, despite general appalling market situation. In November, the cryptocurrency added up to 65%. All right, we don't talk about money. We talk about onboarding. Look, look, we'll get the money when. Bye, when the institutions get here. That's when we have to worry about that. We ain't got to worry when you got stuff like this, like this. Look at that wheel of onboardings. Look at those names. Look at those names. Let me see. Uh, what we got here? We got, we got, we got Amazon right over here. Where the fuck's Walmart at? Oh, we got DHL right up here. One of the biggest shipping companies in the world. Pricewaterhouse Coopers and Deloitte. Where are they hiding at? They're hiding in there. They're in there, though. Oh, yeah, brothers. Bye. Look, look. V-Chain hodlers. Let me tell you something. With such a small market cap, look, I'm just giving my opinion. I ain't telling anyone to buy. I ain't shilling. You know what I mean? I don't need to shill. You don't have enough money to make the market move. So believe me, I am not shilling you. But let me just show you a little something. Just a little something. Look at all of this. Look at all of... So these are, these are distributed ledger technology services providers. Blockchain services providers. They say... I have a blockchain, and I would like to service you with it. Bye! That's what they do. That's what all these companies are, except for the, the crypto crap, the stuff that's trying to be money, the stable coins and the bitcoins and the Moneros and that. The rest of these are blockchain services providers. So you're only doing your job when you service something, right? If you're, if you're XRP, well, this is what you want to see, just like this, except with banks on it, except they're not. But when you look at VeChain, <laughs> oh, yeah, now watch this. Bye. Uh, uh. Now that. Well, Shamari, man, if VeChain's got all those onboardings, why isn't it going up? Because the institutions are not allowed to buy it yet. They are not allowed to buy it yet. I've been preaching it. If you're new around here, I'm telling you. <laughs> They're not allowed to buy it yet, right? It's not regulated. And there's no investment vehicles to get it. I mean, there aren't any V-Chain futures, options, swaps, ETFs, ETPs. Pfft. Fuck, all of it. Derivatives, right? There aren't any yet, right? So they're uh, regulated ones. So regulated ones. Regulated ones. Yeah, they can go on Binance and trade now, but they're not, they don't do that shit. <laughs> they're not going to go on, you know, Binance or like Bitfinex and all these little shitty places like that, like. You know, it has to be real, you know, like backed, you know, shit like that. And so now watch this. There are only 55 billion of them in circulating supply. Right. So now tell me something. VeChain at $1 makes VeChain a $55 billion company, obviously. One to one, right? Yeah. Well, look at all that. You don't think that's worth a $55 billion company? You don't think that's worth a VeChain at $1? You're fucking crazy. That's where the VeChain at two. But let's keep it at one, like just to just to make it, you know, just, you know, but look at all that onboarding. When these analysts get here, when these hedge funds get here, when these institutional investors get here and they're looking for a viable revenue generating company. <laughs> but oh, I just got happy right there. When they're looking for a viable revenue generating company, there ain't no more revenue generating no more viable in this whole crypto space than VeChain. Look, just my opinion. It's my show. It's my opinion. Just saying. So, you know, take a good hard look. If you don't already have some, look, just my opinion. I'm not telling you to go buy it. But, you know, just take a good hard look. Your portfolio. 
it'll thank you in the end. <laughs> look, look, it'll thank you in the end. So your wife, buddy. So look. Bye, Meat Chain Hodlers. Love you guys. Every single one of you. Bye, bye, bye. Fuck. All right, let's go, man, before I wake up my neighbors, which... Bye! 500 running... Do you see? That's why I wanted to also read this. 500? I didn't know they were rocking and rolling like that. You know, like, obviously we know these names and, you know, the big stuff we read here and everything and, and stuff like that, but <sighs> hundreds... Holy shit, I didn't have no idea. 30 Fortune 500? I mean, I know about the Fortune, obviously. We know about Deloitte, Pricewaterhouse Coopers, fucking Jaguar. Uh, what was that other one just the other day? Uh, oh, Walmart and all this, right? Yeah, right. 30 of them? Dang on. I didn't know it was that deep. Shit, I was already happy with just <laughs> what I knew already. Look, look. Love you guys. All right, man, let's move on before I, I don't know, before I just keep yapping. Bang! All right, guys, let's get out of there. Fucking V-Chain, though, man. It, it's too good. It's too good. It's too, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even finish talking. Right, hold on, though. See, it's too good. See, it's too good, my brain. Hold on. Right. When V-Chain goes to a dollar, that's only a $55 billion company. Well, V-Chain is less than one flipping penny right now. $6,003 will get you 1 million V-Chain. 1 million, $6,300 right now will get you 1 million V-Chain. When these hedge funds and institutions are allowed to arrive, motherfucker, that shit is going straight to a dollar in no time. I'm talking, obviously the ROI is going to be huge, but your ROR, the rate of return, the rate of how fast it goes up is going to be astronomical. All these onboardings, and it's only a, at this point in time, a $332 million company? That's nothing. That's nothing. And so $6,000 will get you 1 million V chain. When VeChain goes to a dollar, well, you just made it. That's a million dollars for you. A million dollars on a $6,000 investment. There is no better investment in this space that I've found, that I've found. I mean, if you guys have numbers on some other stuff, show me in the comments or whatever. But there's no better investment, in my opinion. I'm not chilling telling you what to buy. But there's no better investment in this space than VeChain uh, right now. It's not the price. It's the bang, the onboardings. And those onboardings are big enough to send that shit to a dollar. Easy. Easy. With these names, these quality names here, these are the names that that all these institutions work with. Right? Half these institutions have probably 401ks with some of this stuff in it and stuff like that. Right? Oh, yeah, brothers. All right. Okay. So let's move off of V-Chain, though. <laughs> It'll make you rich. Bang! All right. French regulated. Napoleon Bitcoin fund linked to CME futures. All right, I need to sip after that. I was so happy when I when I saw that thing. I was just like, oh, dag gone. Like, I mean, I already knew it was amazing, obviously, but I mean, just the full ex the full extent, right? <laughs> I wasn't aware of the full extent of the slaughter. Look, look. The carnage. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Oh, okay. So now let's let's get off of E-Chain. Fuck. All right. So funds. So again, it's a Bitcoin fund. And, um, but it's regulated. <clears throat> and that means this thing's good to go. And like I told you, all the sexy stuff. You know, the swaps, the derivatives, the options, the cash settle futures. Yeah, they bring liquidity to the market, but they don't create scarcity. Those are just a bunch of guys making money off the price movement of the underlying asset, Bitcoin. But they don't actually take Bitcoins, right? Funds are what take Bitcoins, right? If I, have a, if I'm, if I launch a Bitcoin 401k... Well, I have to have the Bitcoins, right? I have to buy them and hold them, right? And then I can sign up people to my 401k like that. 
And so that's why funds are so good in that yeah, they take the asset off the market. Which creates scarcity, right? Scarcity while supply and demand. If everyone's demanding something and there's less of it, well, the price goes up. And that's the beauty of funds. Um, I've, I've shown you guys here a market, say the New York Stock Exchange. This is the market. Every day you see, oh, the New York Stock Exchange goes up 100, down 100, up 50, down 50, whatever, right? That's only a tiny slice of the market that's actually actively traded, right? It's like actively traded where guys are getting in and out. They're fucking you know, doing whatever they do, you know, it's having a good old time. Yeah, the truth the New York Stock Exchange is this. Three quarters of it are funds. Yeah, here in America, well, if you have a job, you have to have a 401k. I mean, I, you know, yeah, that's that. All those 401ks. Whoa. I felt like something was on my leg. Oh, that's crazy. All these 401ks, all these retirement funds and all that. Yeah, that's all that. Those guys have to buy that and hodl it. Right? And so that's why funds are so special. You'll see, I always freak out about Fidelity, right? Well, hey, because when Fidelity gets here, they're going to be building fund after 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 fund. Oh, hey. Look, look. Fidelity. All right, let's just read on, brothers. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. I cannot wait till Fidelity. Right? They, they launched their custody already. Right, so you know, they you see they're ramping up. They're they're like, yeah, you know, they just get on with it. Get on with the pension funds and stuff, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm so happy right now. Like I know I'm yap yapping so much tonight, man. This is I'm sort of babbling, really. This is a little babble, but it's just so I'm just so happy that finally, it what we what we've been talking about all last year, all through that blood red, what we talked about. Guys, don't worry, custody. Guys, don't worry. There'll be regulated stuff. And once it's regulated, institutions will arrive. Once the, or first of all, once it's regulated, guys will build institutional grade stuff. Once they build institutional grade stuff, then institutions will arrive. Right? And now we finally are having them. And once they once they see it working somewhere, it's gonna spread around the world. And now we're seeing it. The story I'm about to read you worldwide. The story I'm about to read you is worldwide. Yesterday we read about AIM and AG, <laughs> European wide. This thing I'm about to read to you. And the second, the Swiss bank is in nine new countries. And I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you about implications about that. Ah, well, you're going to let some Swiss bank come into your country and make all this money? Oh, yeah. The whales are going to wake the fuck up. Hold on. We're going to talk about it when we get there, brothers. <laughs> Tonight's a good night, guys. Tonight's a great night. This is a great week. It's a great time to be alive, brothers. Look. It's all coming together. It's really happening. Like, like some guy I told you guys. He said to me, Shamari, man, everything you said is slowly happening. There it is. It is finally, finally fucking happening, guys. Told you guys. Told you, man. I know you had doubts. Probably some of you are like, Shamari, the price keeps going down. But Shamari, the SEC keeps disapproving stuff. Settle down, brothers. It, they, these governments and these regulators and that, they, they are not going to be able to fight the momentum. They can't keep this away forever. That's why since the beginning of this channel, I've been telling you, Look, look, there's a tsunami on the way. They can't stop it. Okay, I know these guys. I I'm a Forex trader. <laughs> That's all I do is live and breathe markets. They're not going to allow billions of dollars and with viable companies, though. I mean, these are not, it's not just like the money part, but they're not going to just let people make all this money and you've got companies buying with all these kind of onboardings and just let the and and not take a piece that's their nature they're investors i'm an investor right what do i do my money makes me money right i didn't have a nine to five job i put my money out there it comes back that's what they do and when they see something that is viable that's real that's generating revenue look look baby they're all in they are all in <laughs> and that's why that's why, oh my gosh, that's, you know, that's what I've been preaching to you guys about all last year. And so finally, and we're now seeing it. 
we're finally seeing the beginnings of the fruitions of and like i told you hold on man i'm gonna i'm oh man this is gonna be a yap yap show brothers it already is wow settle down look i don't need that lip but look right like i told you if america wants to sit around if the sec wants to sit around and not do nothing do anything well what happened here in america this year the sec denied 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 so what happened backed kept applying 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 and then finally what happened back said fuck you sec and self-certified right remember those futures contracts are self-certified right backed has that kind of power ice has that power they're allowed to do that they don't need sec approval they were just trying to be nice about it right because they don't want to be ice doesn't want to be left behind and that, like I told you at the beginning of the year, I mean, I thought the SEC, I told you, I've, I've admitted it, I thought the SEC would approve stuff already. How are you going to let everyone else make all this money? Oh, no, but they didn't, right? And so what's going on? Yeah, the rest of the world is not waiting. The rest of the world's not waiting for America. You're going to see this fucking thing I'm about to read to you right now. Well, after this one. <laughs> Look, the world's not waiting. And I'm going to show you why, what's, what I'm about to read to you is, genius. Oh, yeah, baby, it's good stuff. The rest of the world's not waiting. And so finally, what I said to you, bang, whales rising up around the world, making the regulators and politicians get this place started is finally happening. It's finally happening. <sighs> Slowly. But like we talked about, like no one, the flood, baby, just starts at the trickle. Just a trickle. Yeah, but eventually the tsunami arrives. <laughs> eventually the tsunami arrives. Google 2004 Indonesia tsunami. Yeah, take a look at that. Oh, yeah. That's what this place is going to look like. Probably Q3 next year. <laughs> I hope. Let's see. All right, guys. Now let's read. I know. I know. I've been yapping. Look. Paris-based asset management firm Napoleon AM announced the launch of a regulated Bitcoin fund. Fund. Bang. A fund. Funds. Buy it and hold it. Uh, the Napoleon Bitcoin Fund. The company announced in a press release that the fund was created on November 8th and is a specialized professional fund under French law. The company claims that its product is one of the first regulated vehicles giving exposure to Bitcoin price movements. So this is the first regulated investment vehicle in France. The product with daily liquidity aims to provide portfolio diversification to institutional and professional investors. But institutional grade. And that's why it is bang, a regulated vehicle. Regulated vehicles, that's what's necessary. Like I told you, these fucks, these guys, these hedge fund guys and all that, they're not coming here on Bitfinex and BitMEX and all this kind of crap. Well, they're all coming here for some regulated vehicles. Oh, yes. Actually, that's what they're waiting for. So, the fund replicate the performance of futures listed on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and Cass Settlement. So, they're going to use their price discovery. They're going to get it from the CME, the cash, uh, sorry, Chicago Mercantile Exchange. You know, CME has the cash settle futures. So they're going to use the price of the cash settle futures, the CME cash settle futures, as their price discovery. And France said that's fine. That's awesome. High hope for Bitcoin potential. The company noted that cash settlements were chosen to avoid the hassle of storing and valuing Bitcoin. <laughs> so they didn't want to custody the stuff. The custodian, well, they have to still custody stuff, but... They don't have to do too much like the regular stuff. The custodian is Financier Duze, while the auditor is PricewaterhouseCoopers. Bang! Real deal, baby. Per the release, the asset manager decided to develop the product, the product after realizing the potential of Bitcoin and blockchain technology. Convinced of major transformation challenge carried by the blockchain for the entire industry, Napoleon AM got quickly interested in the financial potential of what intrinsically emanates from public blockchain's digital assets. All right. The firm believes Bitcoin to be particularly unique 
given its high volatility. You can't make money without volatility. Look, look. Abnormally biased performance in favor of positive returns. Cult members. And low correlation to trade to traditional assets. Zero. Those features, the company notes, made Bitcoin suitable to diversify portfolios to optimize your risk to reward, sorry, risk to return ratios. Look, look. That's what I told you guys about risk to reward ratios. 2% for trade, risk to reward ratios, 3 to 1. You're going to get rich. There is increasing competition between funds aiming to facilitate institutional investors' interest in Bitcoin. Oh, institutional investors in Bitcoin. Yeah, they're, they're, of course. You want the big money, don't you? <laughs> uh, in an attempt to better suit the needs of accredited investors, so I taught you what an accredited investor is. They're like super wealthy people. Publicly traded Bitcoin fund Grayscale Bitcoin Trust filed Form 10 with the United States Security Exchange Commission to become the crypto fund. That's going to be a right. It'll be regulated here in America. So bang. All right. But look, so we have another regulated Bitcoin fund. This one's in France. And so uh, and it's getting its price discovery from the CME futures. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Another fund now. Bang. Regulated Swiss bank. Seba expands service to nine new countries. Now, this is the thing. And this is what I wanted to talk about. I didn't really want to yap yap about that French shit. Uh, it's just one fund. But look, wow, we need them all. So it's all valuable, but you know what I mean. Um, so this bank, this Swiss bank here, they're going to they're gonna go into some countries. Oh, yeah, and they're going to start offering, offering services. Yeah, well, what are the banksters in that country going to say? When they see some Swiss guys in their leader hosen <laughs> coming in, making all these billions, they're gonna be like, yo, fuck all that. Fuck all that. You guys are coming here, what are you guys doing? We sell crypto. Oh. Well, their banksters are gonna wanna sell crypto. <laughs> right? You're not just gonna let some some dudes from outside come into your town and just make all this loot. So look, look. And so what I mean, what I like about this is that. It's competitive pressure, right? Like it's one thing if no one's doing something in your country, right? Like, so I'm a bankster. Hold on, let me get a sip. I'm a bankster doing what I'm doing, right? I'm trading Forex, I'm trading, trading this, trading that, doing what I do. But all of a sudden some outside boys, some cowboys from outside, Roll up into town. I'm going to start making all these monies from all my citizens here in my country. Well, dag on. I'm going to want to know how the hell you, what are you guys doing? How are you making that money? So I'm going to send my people out to find out. Yo, what are those guys doing over there? All right? Report back to me in a week. All right? My little minions will go find out, come back. Yes, Mr. Clark, we found out what they're doing. What are they doing? Apparently, they're selling cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency? What do you mean, that digital money? Yes, sir. Are they making money at it? Yes, sir. What are the profit margins looking like? Bang, bang, bang. Really? Well, if I'm if I'm the bankster in that country, well, I'm not going to let these guys just be making all that money in my on my home turf, am I? Ha, <laughs> ha. Hell no, and that's what I love about this story. Because what I love about it is, uh, and also that Eamon AG story we read yesterday, and that guys, banksters who are in that country, wherever these these uh, um, investment vehicles are expanded to, well, they're not just going to sit idly by and watch someone else make all this money out of their own country. You know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? It actually forces competition. It's going to force... Um, the local banksters to get cryptoed up, to get to get on board and get in this market. You know what I'm saying? All right. I hope that made some sense. All right. So watch this. There's some good shit, right? Oh, in Switzerland. So let me let me just yap yap about Switzerland for a second, right? Amin EG is from Switzerland. Seba, these guys are from Switzerland. Switzerland <laughs> is spreading out all over the world with crypto. I, I you know I think they're trying to they're trying to dominate this space. 
And let's get real. What do we all know about Switzerland? Swiss banks. Right? They have the, you know, Swiss banksters, they have that um, <clears throat> credibility, right? Like everybody knows about Swiss banks, right? They're not the cowboys of Wall Street like here, right? Swiss banksters are real, you know, professional, and nah, 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 nah. but they also let you hide your money and stuff like that, right? Like they're sneaky, but they're super professional, right? And so it's, it's also just the, it's like saying uh, German engineering, right? It, it's, it's just the stereotype you have, right, of, of that. All right, look, look, let's move on. Look, Switzerland-based cryptocurrency bank Seba has expanded its services to nine new countries. According to finance magnates, on December 12th, that's right now. I read this story just about an hour ago. It just came out about an hour ago. Revealed that accounts, oh, and I got to, oh, wait, I, yeah, fuck shit. I forgot all about this good shit right here. So look, look, revealed that accounts are now, this isn't coming. They are now fully operational for institutional clients and accredited investors in where? Singapore, bang, Hong Kong, bang. United Kingdom, I told you about those British boys. You know I live on British time. Why am I awake this time in the morning? Bang! Italy, bang! Germany, oh, look. they fucked up my bang. Oh, they fucked up my bang. Look, look. Germany, the Germans, bang! France, bang! Austria and Portugal. Worldwide. Worldwide. Singapore and Hong Kong, you know Hong Kong's got all that money, right? When those boys see these Swiss boys going up in there making all that money, there's no way they're going to let them do that. Hong Kong's going to start coming out with, with, with product after product. The UK? You think the UK boys? You think these UK boys? Believe me, look, I, I'm a Forex trader. If you're new here, I'm a Forex trader. I live on British time. Yeah, my, my day starts at 3 a.m. Eastern Time America. Why? Because that's when the Brits are awake. Going to uh, Well, that's when they start their... their their trades on the forex market 9 a.m their time that's how big they are you think these british boys are going to let these swiss boys come into town roll up into town just making all that loot hell no they're not hell no first of all <laughs> the british boys are going to come anyway but definitely now that they got this happening they're not going to let people just come into their backyard and make all this money oh yeah hell no hell no look look so as previously reported, Seba Bank AG, formerly Seba Crypto AG, is a fully regulated institution. Fully regulated. Having secured a banking and security dealer license from the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority, FINMA, in August 2019. Fully. Fully regulated. They're the real deal. Like, like Citibank, Bank of America, JP Morgan, all of them. What else we got? Fuck, all of them. You know what I'm talking about. Look, worldwide. So you can operate worldwide. Yeah, you're regulated. You're fully regulated. Worldwide. You're ready to go. Extensive crypto. Oh, extensive. As part of its account services, Sever offers a Seba wallet app, e-banking services, and Seba card facilities with support for five major cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stellar, Litecoin, and Ethereum Classic. The bank provides investors with both crypto to crypto and crypto to fiat conversion services and offers enterprise accounts, enterprise accounts, fuck sticks, <laughs> corporate accounts for blockchain firms and their employees. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? When, well, Fidelity offers a, a Bitcoin 401k. Well, these guys can service your employees 401k for you. I mean, Fidelity will custody their own stuff. So, it won't be, but I mean, stuff like that, right? Look, look. It is one of the two cryptocurrency banks in Switzerland, Switzerland, to have received regulatory approval from FINMA. The other being Signum. Signum is likewise eyeing global expansion and is now ostensibly in talks with regulators to seal a banking license in Singapore. Everyone's rocking over to Singapore. One of the brothers asked me the other day, Shamari, man, I've been hearing about Singapore. What is it? Yeah, man. Well, all it is about Singapore is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, uh, 
friendly regulations, <laughs> you know, a friendly regulatory environment. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's true, man. Singapore, I know everyone backed, launched their thing in Singapore. So, yeah, they're just, Singapore's just quietly, quietly doing their thing over there, right? Are they a nation? Right? They're not even a, right? They're not even a champion nation, but they're just letting these guys do all their stuff in there. So, all right. So, look, look, Swiss regulatory developments. This summer, FINMA released new guidance on regulatory requirements for blockchain-based payments. While broadly adhering to the framework for digital asset regulation issued this June by the Intergovernmental Financial Action Task Force, FATF, the Swiss regulator has gone on has gone one step beyond the FATF's parameters in refusing to exempt payments involving unregulated wallet providers from its requirements. So, remember, FATF, FATF is the base requirements, right, that you need to be, you know, countries need to adhere to, right? But countries can go further, and so that's what they're saying here. They actually went further. Um, unregulated wallet providers, they don't let them be used. And America, too, like, we went further than FATF. Um, this month's FINMA's this month FINMA's first ever yearly risk monitor report identified blockchain and crypto assets among the factors contributing to Switzerland's money laundering risks. All right, well, whatever. Look, <clears throat> buy regulated Swiss bank. That's it. It's just like any other bank now, right? Like Citibank, right? Can operate anywhere in the world. Bank of America can operate anywhere in the world. Santander anywhere in the world. Lloyd's of London anywhere in the world. You know, Credit Suisse, anywhere in the world. Deutsche Bank, anywhere in the world. Right? That's what this is. Anywhere in the world. And now, bang! We're going to rock on nine countries. Now, like I just said, when they're, when the local when the, when the local guys, the local banksters, see these Swiss boys roll up into town and just start gobbling up all this loot, hell no. <laughs> They're going to roll out products and stuff like that, right? Hold on. Let me see something. Is it products or just deposits? Hold on. Let me look at something. So they have a wallet app and an e-banking and, and, the, and the debit card. All right. So they're not, it's not trading. Well, they do offer crypto to crypto and they offer crypto to fiat conversions. All right. And in these five currencies here. Yeah. All right. So they're just starting out. Yeah, but like I said, when the local boys see some outsiders coming and making that money, fuck all that. Fuck all that. And so that's why I love this story so much. Because uh, this is the real deal. They're fully regulated like any other bank, any other global bank on earth and offering crypto now. Right? So that's awesome. So, all right, good. Let's go. Bang, let's get some shout outs. Look, look, Bitcoin fan. We got. All right. Bang. See you, brother. Man, him. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Oh, Benny, I did read this. I read this. That, yeah. CB News. The European economy is to be reevaluated in light of the imperatives of the climate and ecological emergency via the Green Deal. Our friends VeChain signed a carbon credit platform to be used by Europe in 2050 energy strategy last year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They did, but there's a couple of Eastern European countries today that said they might not sign this deal. I think Lithuania. Um, fuck. And two more. But I mean, whatever, man. Yeah, VeChain's going to be all part of that. But like I just showed you. Bye. Look, there's no shortage of onboarding, so we're all good. All good, brother. Let's give it a bye. All right. What do we got here? IA. Bang. See you, brother. BNM, CB News. Using the tangle for smart agriculture, the Iota Foundation teams up with Future Farm Consortium by Jens Lund Nielsen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, you sent me that. And I, uh, some other guy sent that to me, too. I read it, but it's a huge, long article. So I was actually thinking of maybe saving it for Saturday because I'm going to break it down into chunks. We'll see. We'll see if I talk about it. But yes, bang. DP, so, oh, yeah, it was DP that sent it to me. DP, so, brother, bang. Love you, brother. See you, brother. 
But, yeah, he sent it too. Yeah, using the tango for smart agriculture. Right from farm to table, blah, blah, blah. I know. I, I was reading some of it, but it was so long. I was just like, yo, fuck. I'll get into that in another <laughs> later on. Look, look. Oh, we got seven of them. All right. We'll get everyone right here and we can move on then. Look, look, son of a bitch. Bye. Look, look, bye. Look, look, bye. Look, look, bye. Yeah. Got you, Ron Kez. Look, look. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. The Bitcoin Street Journal. All right, guys. Bye. Samara Boss. See you, brother. Bye. Wesley. See you, brother. Bye. Rob Earth. <laughs> I don't know why I like saying that so much. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Brent C. Spy Lady. Love you, lady. See you, lady. Bye. Robbie Hardaway. See you, brother. Bye. All right. Look, look. All right, what do we got? Oh, medium. Oh, this is the story I just read. Yep. French see it. French thing. Oh, well, I already banged it. So, yeah, this French thing here. Bang. All right. That's probably about it. Oh, this one last guy. Let's do this. Cypher Chronic. Cypher Chronic. Oh, with the weird name. Figital artist. Bang. All right. Look, all right, let's get out of here. Bye, look, look, bye, look, look. Yeah. All right, we had a great show for you today. So, shit, man, yeah, man. V-Chain, whoa. When you see it added up, like when you, I like to see all in one picture, all of it added up and stuff. I mean, that didn't even show the D the distributed apps. That 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 little chart thing that I showed you, I think that was just for the companies, the Fortune 500s. I didn't even think that was for the... Well, I know it wasn't for distributed apps because there wasn't 500 distributed apps there. So, bye. Look, look. VeChain will make you rich. Uh, and then a French regulated Bitcoin fund based on the CFT futures price. Like I said, the funds, baby. The funds, that's what gives us our money. They got to buy the asset and hodl. And so that's what gives us our money. So good for that French fund. Bang. And you know they'll expand out to more. But then look, look. The regulated Swiss bank expands to nine new countries. Nine countries. And that's what's beautiful. It's beautiful because, well, now it's going to expose other, you know, people in other countries to, you know, well, institutional investors to the real deal. Oh, and that's what that French one is too, right? It's institutional. It's not. It's not for uh, just regular folk. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what I gotta say. Right. Yeah. And when, 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 when this Swiss bank heads on over, and they're gobbling up institutions, and the local boys are seeing their institutions getting gobbled up, they're gonna be like, "Oh hell no, we got to get in this game." And so, it's kind of gonna create. I think. I hope. I hope a sort of force, you know, for expansion. And so, all good. All great. Bang. All right. Let's chill and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic notification when I do this show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. Look, look. My name is Shamar Clark. Love talking money. Love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. So thank you for having me in your home. And until tomorrow, well, look, look. Stay strong. Keep accumulating. Look, look. My name is Shamar Clark. Bye. And I'm always on duty. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow. Peace. Over and out.